boxing after all. It doesn't matter that you got knocked down. You can get him back in the next round. You did the right thing, though. You took your time and you got back up. Your father would be proud of you. That's what champions do, Andre. They get back up. Son, that rip ain't gonna do shit but count somebody out, which means you got to knock that cracker on his ass, yeah? And you got one round. Knock the fucker on his ass. Knock the fucker on his ass. Congratulations on your victory, boy. You look real good out there. We're really fucking impressed. Welcome to the real world, baby! <laughs> Nighty night, bitch. I don't want to die in prison. Easy, easy now, son. Don't try to talk. Just take it easy now. You're lucky they left you breathing. I wasn't always this lucky. Cuban is no amateur. He could have turned pro years ago. He's been the amateur champ for nine years. Nine years? Are you gonna let him make it ten? That's right. That's why we're here. To get the gold medal. Now go get him, kid! I wanna see that 
So here we go with round number one. Andre Bishop really attempting to climb a mountain that nobody's been able to scale so far here in the World Amateur Games over the course of nearly a decade. The fine Cuban, Joel Savone, nine straight years as the gold medalist in these World Amateur Games. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Andre Bishop. Blocks that punch, reaching the halfway mark of this round. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. And now he's targeting upstairs. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Combo lands to the head. Teddy, most ringside experts feel that this is very much going to be a tactical fight. Yeah, both these guys throw punches like they're paying for them. And guess what? They're both cheapskates. Two good jabs by Andre Bishop. Savone's left. Working well that time. Good right hand by Andre Bishop. He needs more of that. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Savone's nose is bloodied up. Who knows how that started right there, but the bottom line is he's got to deal with it. Bishop's three-punch combination there is going to impress the judges. Teddy, talk to me about this matchup from a defensive side of the game when you have two speedy fighters matched up. Well, you know what? I'm going to whisper in my guy's ear a little bit. I'm going to say, you know what? Use his speed against him. Step out a little bit. Let him shadow box a little bit. There's nobody there. And when he misses, step right back in. Make him pay. And we come to the end of round number one. You're out pointing. I want to see those hands move more. That was your round, Andre. You're winning this fight. I'm not going to stand here and watch you take those hands. Breathe. 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 Listen, Andre, stay smart. Stay smart. Keep circling. Don't stand in front of you. Here we go, round two is underway. If things stay this way, Andre Bishop is going to coast into victory. He has a considerable lead against Joel Savone. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then go, <laughs> oh no, actually I would say a little counterpunching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Great work offensively landing that combination by Andre Bishop. Halfway through round number two. Right to the head with that right. Joel Savone skidding himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. DeAndre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with a one, two, boom, boom. Carissi's known for really pushing Andre Bishop very hard during training camp. But right now, we're not seeing the results. He seems to be fading a bit. Yeah, you start to wonder whether or not Andre Bishop has gotten a little full of himself, you know, breaking the rules a little bit, maybe getting a little cocky. And maybe, you know, Gus sees him in the gym, but he doesn't see him 24-7. Maybe Andre not living the right way. Really solid left hand by Andre Bishop. That's exactly what his corner wants him to do. A little head hunting with the right. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Savone's defense is paying off now.
number three is underway. Very nice, consistent offensive attack from Andre Bishop against the nine-time World Amateur Games titleist. Joel Savone's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Great movement to get away from those punches. By sending more than one at him now, the combo to the head. Scores well to the head with the right hand. One, two by Andre Bishop. A headshot block. Leading to the punch. Savone's right hand scores well that time. He's got confidence he can crack, and he just did there. And he had the distance, Joe, the height that he wanted to set up that punch. Unbelievable. I mean, look at the action we're getting here. And bang, and away he goes. Oh, that's beautiful stuff, Teddy. That is beautiful work with that combination to score the knockdown. Well, that's the benefit of putting them together. One sets up the other one. I give him a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's a good... That's a big flush punch landing on Andre Bishop. This is not the first time that Andre Bishop has been brought to this neighborhood. He has been shaken before. He will know what to do. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Andre Bishop. Andre Bishop's right hand scores well. He was stunned. Now he's in control. Momentum so critical. And that's the thing about this boxing game. One second you're in control. The next second you're not. Final round of this fight for Andre Bishop in what has been a walk in the park with his supreme skill. And I'm sure the captain of the Titanic thought the same thing. And then guess what? An iceberg. If there's no left hooks coming, he should be all right. There were so many doubters of Andre Bishop coming into this fight, but right now he's silencing them as he is leading the way against Joel Savone. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Joel Savone now just showing good, steady, solid work, landing that jab. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Unable to handle that combination. He is down on the canvas. What a big win for Andre Bishop. He is able to knock out the nine-time defending gold medalist, Joel Savone. You can already imagine what's going to be said about Andre Bishop as he launches his pro career ahead. Andre, how does it feel to be named fighter of the games? It's terrific, honestly. Being voted fighter of yeah, the games, baby. it's an honor. Gold medal, baby. Yes. Yeah. Uh, this is my baby brother, my big baby brother, Ray. Hey, big baby Bishop, I'm a fighter too, and one day I'm gonna be right where he is now. <laughs> like I was saying, it's a lot of talented boxers out here, and it's an honor hey, just being... Hey, Bishop brothers are in the house, big baby Bishop, what? It was a fabulous tournament. Truly exciting to watch. But even more exciting, McQueen Promotions is pleased to announce that we've just added Isaac Frost to our roster of boxing talent. Isaac, are you disappointed that Andre Bishop won Fighter of the Games? Disappointed? <laughs> I'm the heavyweight gold medalist. No one went the distance with me. Nobody here could ever go the distance with me. I am the best fighter at these games. Period. Andre Bishop is a talented middleweight, but I, I think uh, Isaac makes a good point. Regardless, both these young men could have very bright futures in professional boxing.
see you punch hard, fast. Keep it coming, kid. I want to see you punch harder, fast. Keep those feet moving. Focus on your punches, kid. Keep moving. Keep those elbows in. Speed and power, speed and power. Keep it up. Pick up the pace. Move those hips. Let's move. Hi. You okay? Beautiful, kid. You got your father's power. He certainly does. His father hit like a heavyweight, too. <laughs> Gus, <laughs> despite our differences, I've always said you're one of the best trainers in the business. I don't care what you say about me, Queen. <laughs> always nice to see you, Megan. Always nice to see you, too, Gus. I'm bringing my daughter into the business. You know how good she is with fighters. I want her to manage Andre. You're a great trainer. Why not concentrate on what you do best and let Megan and I concentrate on Andre's career? Thanks, but I think I can handle it. Isaac Frost will be fighting for a title within two years. I can do that for you, too. Thanks, but I can handle it. Did this old man ever get your father a title shot? He was on his way! The only way to the title is through me! Not if nobody can beat me. Oh, you think so? You don't know who you're fucking with. Dad! You've been listening to this stupid old man! Dad! You don't know who you're fucking with! I apologize. No, you have no reason to apologize. But your father, on the other hand, he chews fighters up and he spits them out. Gus, if we just... Megan, you're a good egg. But no way are we getting in bed with D.L. McQueen. I respect your decision. Lucius Palmer likes to run, but he'll get aggressive at the end of each round. He's good at stealing fights. Good luck, Andre. Thanks, Megan. She's right about Plum. She's a smart girl, that Megan. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore, ringside with Teddy Atlas. We have a big night of boxing ahead. Plus, so many are looking forward to our undercard. It is the pro debut for the much heralded Andre Bishop. Solid right hand lands. Oh, Teddy, he is hurt, but he's trying to throw back. Yeah, that's the worst thing in the world. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Andre Bishop rocked by that power punch. Bishop is down. Andre Bishop rises to his feet. But of course, Gus is experienced enough to know now when he gets back to the corner, he has a job to do. Not just dump cold water on him to revive him, but to tell him what he got hit with. Remove that fear a little bit from his mind that it will happen again. He can correct the mistake. Bishop's left landing well. Teddy, through the history of the sport, this is one of the matchups that has produced some of the more interesting fights, especially in the lower weight classes, speed versus speed. Who's going to be the guy that uses speed better? Who's going to be able to time shots and control range? That's what I'm looking at. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Andre Bishop. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Andre Bishop getting back to basics, landing that right hand. Can you believe that? What a big shot. 
up off the deck and now in control. He scores a knockdown of his own. And he turned it around because when his opponent scored the knockdown, he got a little careless, a little lazy. Hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. Big shot there. Bishop finds himself on the floor again. Can Andre find a way to gather himself and continue on? So much anticipation for the pro debut of the young American, Andre Bishop, here tonight facing Lucius Palmer. Through one round, Teddy, has anything revealed itself? His hand speed, he's very fast in there. I think he has to settle down a little bit, though, as the rounds go on. Bishop's just not throwing many jabs here tonight, Teddy. I know that really bothers you. You like a guy that commits to the jab, don't you? Well, that's boxing one-on-one. I mean, that's the fundamentals. And it has so many areas where it serves you. I mean, it sets up your punches. It sets up your offense. But it, it controls your defense. Keeps a guy at a certain distance. Gives the guy something to think about. Just the most basic thing in the world. what Andre Bishop wants to do right there, land the right hand. How about that exchange? Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Lucius Palmer. Get out of the way from those punches. This is not a good sign for Andre Bishop. It appears that he's slowing at this point. Yeah, what he needs to do is start placing his shots a little bit. But right now, as you just alluded to, he's just not throwing. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. And once again, he returns. By... Wow! That was a big shot that threw him. And it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of Great Maddox. The sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. Oh, What do you think, Teddy? Do you think he can survive things here? He's been down multiple times now and keeps getting up. History tells us that fighters, when they're pushed to the brink, they find a way sometimes, but not always. Good combination by Andre Bishop. Parries that punch intended for the head. A well-timed right hand by Andre Bishop. Palmer's got to be really careful here. That eye is an absolute mess. The cut is really bad. In fact, it could call for an end to this fight at any point. Well, Joe, the key is where the cut is. It's above the eye, and that means that the flow will go into the eye and, of course, impair the vision. That is what the referee is going to be looking at. Cut is becoming a distraction for him. You can see that. He's really concerned about it. How can he protect it against his opponent? Well, right now, I think there's always three lines of defense. You know, you block, you move your head, or you use your legs. Right now, use your legs. Get a little distance, get on that horse a little bit, and give the medicines that were put in that cut a chance to work. Andre Bishop's recuperative abilities being tested to the limit here. Just 60 seconds to gather yourself after being knocked down in the last round. Now, we talk about the fighter, but it's important right now for the corner, for the referee, for the doctor to know that he does have those kind of recuperative powers. So they give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe the ref gives him a little more time than he gives somebody else. Scored well up top. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Punches and bunches, combination up top. Oh, he turns it over right into a hook. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Really on the mark with that over-the-top shot with the right hand. See him. Look at that! Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes.
That was an impressive showing for the veteran Lucius Palmer dismissing the young upstart Andre Bishop.